All right, so today we are going to do a tutorial on how to mix a solid letter with a print because we received such great feedback on the video that we posted on Instagram. We're going to give you a tutorial on how we created that. So first, I will go on Canva.com, click on Elements, and then you can type in Frame Letters. So I want to choose these right here because it's letting you know that we could drop a picture in here and the letter will take the shape of the photo that we drop in. So for this particular one, I'm going to use M and A because our word is going to be mama. Just make sure that's in the center. All right, so next I'm just going to go to photos and type in leopard print. So I like this first one, so I'm just gonna drop it right in there. So with this, since I'm using the same letters, it's repeating twice, or it's repeating once, um, I'm going to download this just one time, but if you have a longer word like strong, I would download each letter individually. So then for this one, I'm just going to do exactly what I just explained, um, download them individually, but I'm doing command C and command V to copy and paste. And I think I need to do one more A. So for this, I'm going to change this from the leopard print and I'm going to use color. So I like, I've seen a lot of these shirts with pastel colors. So I'm just going to create um, one that has the pastel colors. And I actually like this one right here, these colors right here. So I'm going to choose that. And then I'll do that one. All right. So now I'm just going to download all with transparent background. I'm going to choose the pages that I need. Yep, that's perfect. And I'm going to choose download. And while that's downloading, I'm just going to go to uploads. And we're going to upload all of those pictures. So. I'm just going to select every single one. So I'm going to have this go from dark to light. And the goal is to resize this to make it even. Let's see. I think that's good. Put the last A in. It's too small. Yep. 
So now I'm just going to select all of them and move them, making sure that it's centered. I'm kind of going to move this over just a bit. So now I'm going to click on the leopard print M, resize that, and now since we downloaded this as a picture, I'm going to use this white line right here and I'm going to crop it. And you can crop it however you like, but what I've seen as far as what's trending, this is how most people are cropping theirs. Just like to one side. Right, I think that's good. So I'm just going to copy that and then paste it on this. Um, Just going to resize this M. I think it's a little too big. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the A. Use the white line in the center. Crop it. I think this needs to come down just a bit. So then I'm going to copy that and paste it on the last A. I'm just going to zoom in and make sure that I have it as a good size. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. 
All right, so now that that is done, I'm just, I'm just going to hit download, transparent background, and I'm going to choose page five. Let's see. Everything looks good on a transparent background, so I'm just going to upload this. And I'm going to add it to a mock-up. Actually, I mean, I could stop there because I have seen shirts just like this. Size that a little bit more. So that could be it. But I'm going to show you one last thing. So this, I'm just going to delete that and add the picture. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And resize it because that's unnecessary space. So then, because I want the, I'm going to duplicate this because I want it to be the exact same size as this one. So it will match up perfectly. So now I'm just going to use this line in the center and go down. And then I'm going to use the line at the bottom center and go up. And that's creating that space in between. I'm just grabbing both of those and making sure that it's centered. And then let's put some words in the middle. So I'm going to click on text. I'm going to choose this add subheading because of the size. It doesn't need to be that big. Then this font, I'm going to use this one right here because I wanted to have the tails on the end. So this particular font is uploaded. So if you have the pro account, you can um, upload fonts to your account and let's go with one strong and then the background will say mama let's just make it bigger Just so it could be a little bit bigger. I have to add some more words to it. <laughs> so it says, I am one strong mama. I could leave it like this. Normally, I would probably choose a different word. Just because of this G, I don't like how the G is over the leopard print, but let's see, let's put that effect on there. And that's better. It'll be more like an outline. So I'm just going to group that together. Then I'm going to copy it and bring it down to this mock-up. I'm just resizing it to make it look realistic, like it's actually printed on the shirt. So I'm happy with that. So next I would just download it and then, you know, you could put it on Instagram or Facebook, wherever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.